In the book of Psalm 139, verse 23 to 24, Psalm 139, verse 23 to 24, the Bible says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. Close your eyes. Say this prayer point loud and clear. Say, every evil thought against me, I cancel it by fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil thought against me, I cancel it by fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil thought against me, I cancel it by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's topic is dream of someone giving you a pen. Dream of someone giving you a pen. Did you feel happy or unhappy after you saw someone giving you a pen in the dream? If yes, we are going to tell you more about this revelation. A pen could symbolize many things. It could symbolize a tool for expressing yourself either formally or informally. It can symbolize power, communication, career, and virtues. For others, a pen in the dream may represent troubles, division, or arrows. When you see someone giving you a pen in the dream, it may signify many things. It may mean that you will receive help or support from someone very soon. It may mean that someone is interested in a relationship with you. It may also mean that someone is trying to pass or convey an important message to you. It could be a good or bad information. Sometimes, such a dream may be a set off from someone who wants you to fail and fall in life. God forbid. If you are currently in a marriage, this dream suggests happiness or good news to come. Say Amen. If you are currently in a relationship, then it means your affair with that person will go on smoothly in Jesus' name. If you see yourself writing with a pen in the dream, it means it's time to express yourself in word or to put down your prayer request. If you are expecting a job in the real life, to see someone giving you a pen in the dream, it means you should get a good job or the sign could just indicate that God is blessing you with creative ideas to start your own business. Similarly, this dream also means that someone is going to empower you financially to carry out that business plans very soon. To see someone giving you a pen in the dream, it tells you as a child of God that now is the time to make that decision very fast. It can be related to marriage, relationship, work, or academics. For example, when a pen is broken in the dream, it can suggest bad news, troubles, disappointment in career and love life. If someone gives you a broken pen in the dream, it predicts someone is having evil intention against you. Someone is wishing you bad in life. It may also predict that you are going to lose a big opportunity being offered to you by someone. This dream reminds you to make a promise to someone or to make some request to God. At this point, God is waiting for you to make that request so that He can grant them speedily for you. Receiving a pen as a gift in a dream, it means you will be rewarded for your efforts and hard work in life. Someone will surely favor you very soon in Jesus' name. But if you are losing that pen in the dream, it means loss of important thing in your life. It will be related to job, project, ideas, wisdom, relationship, marriage, or money. This can also mean that you will have communication problems with your loved ones, your partner, or colleagues, especially when that pen is lost. Finding your pen in the dream symbolizes happiness and success to come in your life. Holding a pen in the dream is a symbol of holding onto your dreams and goals. But if you give someone your pen in the dream, it means you will contribute massively or support someone else's dreams and goals in life. In conclusion, when we feel or realize that we have lost everything in life, that is when God will step in and favor us. Don't give up. You shall surely make that significant impact in your life and progress in Jesus' name. Instruction, kindly read the following Bible verses. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 1 to 2, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 to 3, Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3, Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3, Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7, Psalm 19 verse 14, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, Romans chapter 12 verse 3, Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 to 22, and lastly, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. So, o Lord, have mercy on me and reverse any evil thought against me. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, have mercy on me and reverse any evil thought against me. In the name of Jesus, say, O oh Lord, write my name in the book of those that will be favored by you this week. In the name of Jesus, 
O Lord, write my name in the book of those that will be favored by you this week. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, write my name in the book of those that will be favored by you this week. In Jesus' name. Say, I cancel my names written in the book of those that will be attacked. In the name of Jesus. I cancel my names written in the book of those that will be attacked by demons. In the name of Jesus. I cancel my names written in the book of those that will be attacked by demons this week. In Jesus' name. Father, send good people that will help me financially this week. In the name of Jesus. Father, send good people on my way that will help me financially. Father, send good people to me that will help me financially. Send good people on my way that will help me financially in Jesus' name. Take this last prayer point. Say every power that wants to fire arrows into my life, backfire in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants to fire arrows into my life, every power that wants to fire 12 arrows into my life, backfire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.